Hey y'all, what is good everybody? What is good everybody? I'm Marcy, I'm the curly haired half of the Handmade Heralds and today I've got a little quick video for you because I have been in the process of zhuzhing a new sewing space. <laughs> Refreshing. We've had a couple of life updates happening in the world of the Handmade Heralds. We're gonna be, of course, spending time in New York City, our home, but we're also gonna be spending some time down south. This, right here, is gonna be our remote sewing studio. I'm very excited about this space because up here with all this light, I'm going to be able to give y'all sewing videos where you can really see what is going on. And next week, Next week, come hell or high water, I am sewing something. I haven't sewn something in about, I'm gonna say about six weeks, and I'm starting to go a little crazy, which brings me to my next topic. We are going to be making Vogue Patterns 1735, also known as Vogue Patterns 92. Five, three. This was one of the patterns I showcased a couple of videos ago in my top five or six or seven, I don't know, some kind of number, patterns that will really get your juices flowing and really up your skill level. Well, everybody wanted to see this made as an open robe, which is a hack that I love to do to this pattern. So that's what we're gonna be doing in the next coming weeks on the channel. I wanna even say next week on the channel. I wanna give you a few tips on fabric and what you're gonna to need to make this dress so you can get ahead of the game. You're gonna want a fabric that has some drape to it, some fluidity, something that sort of um, catches the breeze when you walk because this is going to be an open robe so you really want that watery, floaty feel to it. I've got two fabrics here that will work for that. Here's a poly, I'm gonna call this a poly charmeuse. It's not too satiny, it's not too, uh, it doesn't have a shiny face to it. It has more of a matte finish to it, but still very fluid, very drapey, and both sides look good. You definitely want both sides of your fabric to look good for this hack because it's an open robe, so you're gonna see the inside of the fabric. My other option is this Poly Burnout. Both sides looking good. This fabric feels wonderful, and I think it's gonna be a little easier to work with. It's not quite as slippery as this leopard print, so that's something you wanna think about. If you choose a very slippery fabric, that's gonna be a bit harder for you to work with. If you've got experience working with slippery fabrics and you've got one that you've fallen in love with and you wanna use, go for it, girl. Go for it, boy. Go for it, Soasaurus Rex. You could also go with a silk charmeuse, you could go with a silk twill. You could go with a chiffon. If you're into working with those fabrics, if you have those fabrics on hand, those will all work well. For my natural sewists out there, you could certainly go with a cotton, with a cotton linen blend or a cotton silk blend. You really just wanna make sure the fabric is beautiful on both sides. I think I'm going for this one. I love the hand of it. I love the drape of it and it's gonna catch the wind and be very, very dramatic. And that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for some sewing drama because there's been enough world drama going on for a minute, so I'm looking for some sewing drama. That's the kind of drama that we are here for. Normally, you would be putting a zipper into this dress. You're not gonna need that for this hack. Mm -mm. What you are gonna need is some twill tape. This is cotton twill tape. It comes in white and black. I've also seen it in a pale pink hue at the Joanne Fabrics. I buy my twill tape at Panda Trim in New York City. I'll actually put a little link below in the description box. But really, you can find twill tape at most fabric stores in the Notions section. It's usually sold by the yard. I like to buy these big spools because I use a lot of twill tape. Because this little seam finish that we're gonna do around the neck edge you guys, it's so easy. You're gonna wanna finish so many things with twill tape once I show you this super easy hack. So that's what you need for next week. You need twill tape, you need fabric, and you need, 
either version of the Vogue pattern. I've got to get back to zhuzhing the studio. I've got some bookcases to put together. I've got some paint touch-ups to do. I've got a full-length mirror that I need to decorate with all these dollar store flowers and some globe lights so we can be very fancy when we get into our fitting. I got things to do and I gotta get them done this weekend because I'm sewing. I'm saying it right here. I'm sewing and y'all are coming with me. You coming with. I'm a little tipsy from all the paint fumes. I've been painting for a couple of friends. It's been a couple weeks, hasn't it? It's been a couple years. Stay safe out there. Stay sane out there. Peace out. Emphasis on peace. I'm going to leave everybody with a moment of zen. Rambo the sewing cat. That's right, folks. There's a cat here. And he is fluffy. See you next week. Bye.